Good morning, myself Saraswati, Assistant Officer, Department of Sailing Learning. Today we will see a topic of public water supply system. Public water supply system is supplying a safe and wholesome water to the public from the large water resources by treating and bringing it in an efficient manner to public is known as a public water system. The activities of public water supply systems are taking water from the large water sources uh, and bringing it to treatment plan by pumping or without pumping through the proper pipeline networks and ensuring the quality standards of water and supplying water to the municipality and then to the local. In running the maintenance and operation of pipeline network, governing council for water supply system, establishing new pipeline and other service connection. And finally, a collecting charges or financial fund from the public River, pond, lakes, impounding reservoir, and groundwater have a spring well infiltration gallery, and well have a artesian well tubal, and tubal have shallow well and deep wells. Then intake tower, collection of water, and finally a treatment of water. The treatment of water have a six classification: screening, plain sedimentation, secondary sedimentation, filtration, disinfection, and miscellaneous works. Then storage, main service pipe, and public service. Then planning of water supply system have a financial aspect, population growth, quality of water, quantity of water, rate of consumption, usage of water, sanitary survey of area, source of water supply, and RM and O. Then service connections. Then objective of water supply system all to provide a safe and wholesome water to the public. In wholesome water, uh, the water which is safe and potent for drinking to human health is referred to as wholesome water. And to supply water in adequate quantity and good quality, to make water easily available to consumers, so as to encourage personal and household cleanliness. The need for protected water supply, man-made pollution, industrial pollution, surface runoff, water scarcity in climate change, sea water instruction, groundwater depletion, unhygienic conditions. These are all need for productive water supply. Then design period the future period for the or the number of years for which a provision is made in designing the capacities of the reservoirs and various components of the water supply system is known as design period. The factors affecting design periods are life period of component structures, making changes in the system, financial condition of current situation, and population growth, development works, living style of public. These are all the factors affecting design period. Then water demand. The amount of water needed or demanded by the public for the smooth conductance of day-to-day -day activity is called the water demand. Then types of water demands, domestic water demand, industrial water demand, institution and commercial water demand, demand for public uses, fire demand, water required to compensate losses in waste. The total con domestic water consumption usually amount to 50 to 60 percentage of the total water consumption. The total domestic water demand shall be equal to the total design population multiplied by per capita of domestic consumptions. Then industrial water demand, the water demand for industries, the ordinary per capita consumption and account of industrial need for a city is generally taken as 50 liters per head per day. Then institutional and commercial water demand, water demand for hospital, hotel, restaurant, school and colleges, railway station, office, small factories, etc. On average per capita consumption is 20 liters per person per day. The demand for public uses, water required for public utility purposes, watering of public parks, gardening, washing and sprinkling on roads etc. An average per capita demand is 10 liters per person per day. In fire demand, water required for firefighting, rate of fire demand is treated as the function of uh, population. These are the fire demand calculating formulas, Kuchling's formula, Freeman's formula, NBF formula, 
business formula. Then what are required for compensate loss in theft and waste? Losses due to leakage, bad plumbing, damaged meter and stolen meter. It may be 15% of the total consumption. In per capita demand, it is the annual average amount of daily water required by one person and it includes the domestic use, industrial and commercial uses, public use, waste, theft, etc. The mathematically, the formula we have used in per capita demands, total year water required of the city in liters divided by 365 into divine population. In breakup for per capita demand for an average Indian city, uh, the uses and demand in liter per head per day. Domestic uses are 200, industrial uses are 50, commercial uses 20, civic or public uses 10, waste and theft etc. is 55. Totally we have 335 demands. Then factors affecting per capita demands are size of city, climate condition, type of gentry and habits of people, industrial and commercial activities, quality of water supply, pressure in the distribution system, development of sewage system, system of supply, Cost of water, policy of material and method of charging. In factors affecting losses and thefts are water type joints, pressure in the distribution system, system of supply, metering, unauthorized connections. Then variations in demand, there have a four variations, hourly variation, daily variation, monthly. Rate, death rate, migration. The method of population, artificial increase, geometrical increase, incremental increase, decreasing rate method, simple graphical method, comparative graphical method, master plan method, the appropriate method, the logistic curve method. Thank you.